In this video, we're going to be taking a look at powers of 10 and exponents. Now it's important to remember that you have your Go Math book out and you've, you're at page 17. Have a pencil and also your math journal to do any extra work or write problems out and things like that. Now the essential question that we're going to unlock during this video is how can you use an exponent to show powers of 10? Now like I said, page 17 is where you will want to be and we're going to take a look at this problem. Now I'm just going to explain an exponent here and why we use them. Ex expressions with repeated factors such as 10 times 10 times 10 can be written using a base with an exponent. The base is the number that is used as a repeated factor. Okay, for example, if we have 10 times 10 times 10, 10 is my base, is going to be our base, and the exponent is the number that tells how many times the base is used as a factor. Okay, so that's 3. Okay, so 10 times 10 times 10, okay, is 10 to the third power, or the third power of 10. The exponent form we could see right there would be 10 to the third power. Okay, now let's take a look at the problem that is on page 17. <clears throat> now we have an activity here and it says use use base 10 blocks okay and what they're asking us is they're asking us what is 10 times 1000 and we need to write the exponent. So we're going to go through this problem together first of all we need to think about how many ones are in one now it's pretty obvious there there's only one one in the number one Okay, so we'll write 1 right there. How many 1's are in 10? So we know that there are 10 1's in 10. How many 10's are in 100? Okay, we know there are 10 10's in 100. Moving on down, some things that we need to think about. How many 100's are in 1,000? That would be 10 100's and 1,000. How many thousands are in ten thousands? Are in ten thousand, I should say. Ten. Okay, now what we can do, it's saying in the workspace, draw a quick picture to show ten thousand. Okay, so we're going to use the T for representing a thousand. So what I'm going to do, and I want you to do this as well, draw ten boxes with the letter T in the middle representing. 10,000 ones. I want you to keep drawing this until you have them. Draw all these for a grand total of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's a number that, or that's a picture that could represent 10,000. Okay, we have 10,000s here. Okay, so now it says, so 10 times 1,000, okay, is 10. All right, now we're not going to write it out as 10,000. Okay, what we're going to write it out as, we're going to write it out as 10 to the fourth power. Now we can see the progression. How many ones are in one? One. Then ones are in ten. Ten to the first power. Ten to the second power gives us one hundred. Ten to the third power gave us a thousand. And then finally ten to the fourth power gave us ten thousand. Now let's take a look at page 18. We're going to look at the example. I want you to read this along with me as I read it aloud, it says hummingbirds beat their wings very fast. The smaller the hummingbird is, the faster its wings beat. The average hummingbird beats its wings about three times the third power of ten times a minute. How many times a minute is that? Write it written as a whole number. Okay, so we have multiply three by powers of ten. We want to look for a pattern here. Okay, so what we could see 3 times the 0 power of 10 equals 3 times 1, which equals 3. Okay, so you can see 10 
when it does not have any value for that for the um, exponent here we can see that that just equals 1 3 times the first power of 10 equals 3 times 10 giving us 30 3 times the second power of 10 equals 3 times 10 times 10 so you can see I have two tens and my exponent is 2 here okay this is going to give me 300 3 times the third power of 10 equals 3 times 10 times 10 times 10 exponent 3 three tens we're multiplying giving us 3000 so you can see the pattern that we see as the exponent increases we have 1 2 3 we also see that the number of zeros in the product increases as well okay so make sure you understand that as the exponent increases the number of zeros in the product increases as well so we can see so the average hummingbird beats its wings about 3,000 times a minute and I already answered what pattern do you see we, we already saw that now explain how using an exponent simplifies an expression now pretty simple if you have 3 times the third power of 10 or you can write it you know you can easily write it just like we see here let me clear out all the annotations here really quick so easy to see 3 times the third power of 10 is much easier to write than 3 times 10 times 10 times 10 okay a couple of different things that we're going to take a look at we're going to write 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 in exponent form and also word form so it's important to understand this okay now we have 10 with an exponent of 4 just like that you can see how much easier that is than writing out 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 okay now the word form for this is the fourth power of 10 let's write that on page 18 as well now the next one that we're going to take a look at it says find the value of 4 times the second power of 10 okay and what we can do with this is we know that the second power of 10 is a hundred so we can multiply a hundred times 4 giving us 400 we'll do one more together here we have the fourth power of 10 representing I'm just gonna write it out so you can see it 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 okay we know 10 times 10 is 100 100 times 10 is a thousand a thousand times 10 is 10,000 Okay, let me clear the annotations and let's try another one. I want you to work this problem out all, out all by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play and I will have the answer for you. Pause the video now. Okay, the answer for this one is 2,000. I want you to try this problem out all by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play and I'll have the answer for you. Pause the video now. So you can see we have six times the fourth power of 10 is 60,000. Now I want you to move down on page 19, complete this section all by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play and I have the answer for you. So pause the video now. Okay, so here are the answers. Now, once again, you can see as the exponent increases, the number of zeros in the product increase as well. Now let's take a look at the test prep problem and I want you to work through this problem all by yourself when you're finished you can press play and I will have the answer for you and I want you to pause the video now and here's the answer letter C we have three times the fourth power of 10 square miles for the answer 
Now let's take a look at the essential question. How can you use an exponent to show powers of 10? What we can do, I can count the number of times 10 is used as a repeated factor and write that number as the exponent. Okay, so this concludes the video on powers of 10 and exponents. And if you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.